Hey guys, good morning. Shout out, Joe the editor. Just woke up, got out of bed, and made myself a coffee. Cheers. It's been a while since I made a video, so just want to get this out of the way. Usually, I'm the type when I wake up in the morning, I don't like to just roll out of bed and you know start doing shit. I usually am in the bed, you know, just chilling, you know, kind of like naturally letting my body adjust to the fact that it's waking up type of shit. <laughs> usually, I like to like chill in my bed and like just think about what I'm gonna do for the day and all this stuff, make my plans in my head and all this shit. So. Making these videos, you know, I'd rather get it done early in the morning and then like do whatever I have to do for the rest of the day, right? So uh, it's kind of like the point I want to talk about in this video is that, you know, you got to learn to like schedule things, uh, primarily if you're going to become self-employed or if you're aiming to like, you know, be a content creator or work for content creators, you know, whatever it is that your goal is, you know, um, I'm in my late 30s, you know, age and when I was younger, pretty much, you know, I was a type, and I'm sure most of us, when we were younger, were the type that, like, the moment the phone rings, we get a text or an email or whatever, you know, if, like, if you have a friend that, you know, needs your help or if there, something's going on, whether it's a party or some shit, you know, you probably just drop what you're doing and then you go and you hang out and have fun and all that shit, right? And, like, you know, I definitely was one of those persons, right? Like, somebody called me, hey, Joe, come over, we're fucking doing whatever i'm like all right there i go you know however i'm at a point now that i cannot do that and also i do not want to do that right it's i'm actually happily make living a lifestyle where i'm more in control with what i want to do with my time you know um it may sound lame you know when someone calls me or needs my favor or you know they want me to do something for him and i say no or i can't you know i may cause an inconvenience towards them but i just i'm at a position where like you know I have a set schedule that works for me, that benefits me, and it benefits, you know, the person that I feel I should dedicate my time to the most. There are a lot of people that I know or have met and, you know, in the past dedicate a lot of my time towards people that definitely didn't, you know, deserve my time, you know. But people would just call me because they needed a ride or because, you know, they needed money or because, you know, they knew that I would benefit them in one way or the other, you know, so they had a problem calling me and I'd be like, sure, because, you know, I had a hard time saying no, you know, I was one of those people, but eventually, you know, you realize, you know, fuck you, <laughs> you know, you gotta have to learn who to say no to in a kind manner and when to say no if it's something that doesn't work out for you, right? Little by little, I kind of like starting to let go of jobs, you know, in my busiest, I was having like three jobs at the same time and actually almost four, you know, I was helping like four people out Well, I was working construction and I was working for Pa, working for Kyle, working at Walgreens and then any other side projects that, you know, which is, I was very busy, right? But I just got to a point where I was like, dude, this is too much, you know, I actually had like skin spots. There were like little, like looked like a rash, but there were like just little white skin patches and shit like that. I don't know if I remember, I'll put a picture somewhere to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, but it turns out that like, uh, basically it was some skin condition that I was getting mainly out of stress. You know, I used to have kind of like a uh, hair chin, you know, kind of like as a little beard, you know. You know, this whole patch down here underneath my chin, basically, you know, I grew it out and just as a look, whatever. But um, when I was in my busy, it was basically half of my chin literally went bald. Like, just the hair fell off and it was, like, weird. But again, it was from the stress, you know. The fucking, <laughs> my hair was falling out of my chin. It was weird. Along with other situations where, like, you know, uh, I had, like, a lot of stomach problems. It was hurting because, you know, I wasn't sleeping well and all that shit. And just, you know, along with other crap, I was getting sick a lot and so on. And, you know, little by little, just, you know, I'm like, fuck this. You know, obviously I stopped working at Walgreens. I finally decided to start working in construction. My primary focus is working for people like Pa. You know, Pa's beyond fucking great. So more than happy to dedicate my time to him, you know, because, you know, he's a cool guy to work with, right? Side project wise, you know, I'm at a point where like I have to make a decision whether if I want to work with other people or if I want to you know, dedicate more time towards myself, right? I got to a point now like in my late 30s that I need to like focus more on my health and that's something I have not been doing, right? As I mentioned before in the past, you know, I used to party a lot and I drank and all those shit and like I developed some health issues from that. Now, you know, I'm past all that shit. <laughs> But, uh, you know, part of me was from the drinking, which is because I was working a lot, so I stressed out, so I used alcohol to help me out, and that developed some health issues, right? Now that I don't drink, I mean, I do drink every once in a while. It's honestly, I prefer not to, but, you know, when 
I'm having dinner with you know, some friends or something, then cool, I have a couple. But for the most part, I really don't because it's just a waste of time and money for me. Thankfully, from like not having that lifestyle where I was drinking almost every day, a lot of the health issues that I got from that and uh, being overweight, they went away. You know, I went to the doctors and like, you know, everything is okay. The only thing I have right now is like high cholesterol and that's mainly because I'm not that active. And also I tend to like eat like food that's not that great because, you know, when I'm working, I just focus on working. So when I stop to eat, I'll probably eat whatever is left over, which is usually just junk food and stuff like that. So that's something else I decided to like focus on is my health. You know, I, I decided to, you know what, I'm going to schedule in time for myself to go to the gym and schedule time for myself and my girlfriend to go on hikes and stuff like that. Recently, I've actually been like offered work from other people online, uh, whether, you know, VFX work or editing and all that stuff, right? And like, I had to make a decision. I could help them, but the thing is, it's going to interfere with like my, my own schedule for myself to go to the gym and also like personal time with my girlfriend, right? Now, I always set aside time to work on with Paul and his projects, you know, that's already kind of like in my schedule for throughout the week. But I also, throughout the week and throughout the day, I started to like schedule time for myself to either like, you know, go to the gym, focus on my music, which is something I really wanted to do for a while. You know, schedule time in to like make dinner, you know, for my girlfriend. You know, also schedule in time in the week for me to do the chores to keep my room in organized. Schedule in time for me to do important things, whether it's, you know, go to the doctors or any other personal obligations I need to do. You know, there's a lot of things I learned to like schedule time for people that I feel are super important to my life and also most importantly scheduling time for myself and if someone wants to like um, be part of my schedule my daily routine or my weekly schedule you know I mean it sounds selfish but it definitely has to be someone who is able to offer a grand benefit towards me not to say that nobody's special no one's important I'm better than them or anything like that it's just like I'm at that point where like I really need to value I do value myself, you know, I do value my time and all that stuff. And usually in my past videos, when it's just me talking to you, like giving you advice, it's pretty much that's what I say a lot is basically you got to learn to value yourself and value your time. Because uh, if you're starting out, whether it's, you know, you're learning to do VFX work or editing or whatever it may be, you're going to go through a phase. You may go through a phase or you may be going there through now where like you want to like be involved. You want to help people out. You want to like say, hey, I'm an editor, let me help you, you know, yada, 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 you start throwing your time out and shit like that, but you may deal with people that they see that, so either they're going to, like, just try to get as much as they can out of you because, you know, and they won't pay you, um, or you're a content creator or trying to be a content creator, they're going to get people to, uh, they offer help towards you, and you can be like, oh, cool, it benefits me because, you know, you don't really have money to pay people, so, you know, that's going to happen, but eventually that person's going to either want money, either say you can, and that person's going to go, and it's going to fuck your rotation up because you're, cause you're a guy used to having someone to help you out, so, you know, again, you got to find, like, kind of like that balance of, like, being able to, like, have someone with you to help or being able to offer, you know, say financial support, basically, you know, to someone that, you know, wants to help you out, right? There's definitely a team, you know, they help you out to create your content or, you know, to make the money. Obviously, they got their personal obligations to do their bills and shit. So, you know, you got to help them out as well with the money they helped you make, you know, kind of shit like that. So, I say this all the damn time, and like uh, now that I'm in the age that I am with the experience that I've had, uh, definitely learn to value your time, value yourself, value all the hours and time and money that you spent, you know, freaking on your laptop, on your computer, on your software, you know, like, you know, you see all those, all those hours that you spend like working on your side job or your, your day job to like buy a new GPU or a camera or some shit, you know, all that is because you have a goal in mind, right? You're sp spending the hours in front of like the computer watching YouTube videos and how to like set up a good studio or whatever it may be that you want to learn to do. That's work. That's time. You got to value that. And then like when someone shows up and be like, oh, hey, can you help me out? I don't have any money, bud. It, it, it's almost offensive, <laughs> really, you know? Um, when I get people come up to me and they ask for my help, but they're not able to um, offer anything in return. Because, again, you know, yeah, they like what I do, but all the time and energy that I spent learning how to do what I do, obviously, I want to see something come from it. And I've been open about it with my friends. I can understand. You don't may not have a budget high enough to pay for my day, and I can understand that, but, you know, because I'm near my buddy, but you got to help me out in some other way, you know? So whatever your budget may be, talk to me about it, and, like, I'll we'll balance something out. I'll see what I can do, but... Most people don't tend to do that because most people don't really know how to negotiate or how to like feel comfortable being straight out and talking about this kind of stuff. So uh, something else you got to learn to develop is basically being able to like talk to the person and be like, hey, this is what I need. Not being demanding, 
just explain to them, this is my situation, you know, this is what I, you know, it costs for me to maintain myself on a daily basis, you know, because in the end of the month, they have bills they have to pay, you know, obviously you got rent, internet, electricity, and all this stuff. And also you got to learn to pay yourself as well, you know, you got to treat yourself like a fucking bill, just like you pay, you know, your insurance or whatever, you got to learn to pay yourself as well, right? And also, you got to learn to, like, give yourself time like you give other people time with the people you work with. And it's, that way you can do whatever you need to do for yourself, whether it's going to the gym, working on your own personal projects or whatever it may be, right? So learn to value yourself and value your time, you know? Because the thing, like, you know, I believe, I believe in a lot of attraction. If you value yourself and you value your time, then definitely you're going to attract people that value you and value your time, right? So, but obviously, you also have to make sure that you yourself are someone that you're able to offer something to someone else. Just because you value your time doesn't mean you're worthy. You definitely got to be providing something for the table as well. You know, it's a team. A team is only good as his you know, weakest player, or, you know, or how that saying goes. A chain is as strong as his weakest link or whatever. You know, you got to make sure you're also a good asset for the team, you know. If someone needs your help, Obviously, you got to be, you know, either work, you got to work on time, you got to work fast, you got to provide a good quality, you know, good service, good communication skills. You know, there's a lot that you need to work on yourself to show, hey, I'm, I'm worth it. You know, I'm a good guy. And like you feel good that you are a worker because if for whatever reason shit goes down or something doesn't tend to work out, then, you know, it is easier for you to be like, hey, you know what? I did what I could. I explained to you my situation. I said exactly what I can do and all the stuff. I did what I can and this ain't working out for me. I need to move on, you know, because that may happen. And again, you need to learn to do that, but without being angry and malicious and all that shit. So, all right, I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll be, I got more ideas for tutorials. I'm still continuing my, um, how I edit little series I'm doing, but like, you know, as you can imagine, either I don't feel like it <laughs> or I don't have the time or whatever, but, but they are coming. Trust me. All right. Sorry that it's been a while since I uploaded anything for the few people that watch my channel. I do appreciate you, but, uh, yeah, they are coming. All right. So, uh, take care. Appreciate it. Peace.